if women cannot go to a place of work and be safe, then we are de denying them the basic conditions of equality. After the principal resigns from this medical college, he sent to another office. He is appointed as a principal of another college. Let not the power of the state of West Bengal be unleashed on peaceful protesters. First, on matters of safety, we are deeply concerned about the fact that there is a virtual absence of safe conditions of work for young doctors across the country, particularly in public hospitals. As we know, these are all young interns, they are residents, senior residents, doctors, and most importantly, women doctors. Yes. Who are subject to of, of, of graver dangers and vulnerable, yeah, vulnerable. Uh, by virtue of the nature of their uh, Excellent. because of gender. Most of the young doctors have to put in somewhere 36 hours. Hour. Uh, we find that there are no uh, duty rooms available, yeah. no separate restrooms or duty rooms available for men and women doctors, for the other nursing staff, for the paramedical staff who are also uh, on duty. And therefore, we must. Uh, evolve a national consensus to ensure that there must be a standard national protocol. Ultimately, what is equality under the constitution all about? If women cannot go to a place of work and be safe, then we are de denying them the basic conditions of equality. And therefore, we are entertaining this and I'll very shortly share the way we want to uh, proceed with this to ensure that ultimately, uh, it's not that every time that there is a rape or murder that the conscience of the nation is uh, awakened. Second. We have to do something right here and now to ensure that these conditions of safety are uh, maintained in terms of protocols which will not just be on paper, but protocols yes. which will be enforced across, uh, across, across India. We are deeply concerned of the fact that the name of uh, the deceased okay. who was assaulted and murdered the name has been published all over the media. Photographs have been yes. published all over the media. Should video, never. video clips, obviously, either before or after the postmortem, have been published, right. uh, showing her body. Uh, you know, after she was subjected to it, extremely uh, concerning. Inform your lordships before the police reached, photos were taken, and these were circulated. We didn't allow anything to happen. We cordoned off the area. Is this, we, this is the way we provide dignity and That's respect terrible. the privacy of uh, an individual who has lost her life as yeah. a young doctor. It appears that the crime was detected in the early hours of the morning. Yes, yes. No, in the After the crime was detected in the early hours of the morning, the principal of the hospital tries to pass this off as a suicide. Not true, not true, not true. Not true. Her parents are not... Her parents are not allowed to like, see yes, the body. body. Her parents are not allowed yeah. to see the oh, body. Poor, or almost no, Malak, this is, I'm sorry. I, I, anyway, Malak, this is the impression. Our we'll have to, we'll have to, we'll have to place the facts before your lordships. We have yes, investigated that. that. This is not correct. After the principal resigns from this medical college, he is sent to another hospital. He is appointed as a principal of another college. Another he college. Yes, immediately. He doesn't immediately. resign. But anyway, be that, that, be that, that as that 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 conduct, At the least, his conduct is under scrutiny and he's appointed as a principal somewhere else. Is it 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 is not this is all. We have a note on all this missing. The investigation has been handed over to the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Yes, done. Yes. yes. We want CBI to file a status report before this court on Thursday. Today, we intend to pass an order. We are setting up under the authority of this court a national task force. The National Task Force will consist of a diverse segment of doctors from different parts of the country. We want them to make us recommendations in regard to the modalities to be followed across India. We're not only talking of the Adhikar Medical College and Hospital, but modalities to be followed all over the country for ensuring safety at the workplace first and foremost. For which our young doctors, our middle level, the middle level doctors, the senior doctors are all uh, today on protest and on strike. We would really earnestly appeal to all the doctors that we are here to ensure that you know their safety and protection is a matter of the highest national concern. You know, the autopsy would reveal that this is a case where a where a doctor has been murdered, where she has been murdered. Yeah. The FIR is registered at 11.45 in the night, Mr. Sibur? Yeah. And who was expected to register? Yeah. Nobody in the hospital registers the FIR? No. The father registers the... 
What was the principal or the vice principal? Correct. What were the authorities of the hospital doing? They wanted a board. We constituted a board. No, no. They wanted a magistrate. We got the magistrate. You don't need state, 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 time for registration of FIR. You don't need a medical board yeah, for registration of FIR. Mr. Sibran, it is the obligation was made of the, the authorities of the hospital. Yes. The parents are not present in the hospital when the murder takes yes. place. Yes. So one thing, Mr. Sibran, we are very, very concerned. Let not the power of the state of West Bengal be unleashed on peaceful protesters. Yes. Yes. I, I give to your, I give, to, we have videos, we have videos of all that happened. People who are people, whether they are doctors, civil society, lawyers, people who are protesting, so long as there is no act of destruction of... We have videos. We agree. Let there not be the power of the state unleashed Agree. Peaceful protection. Manas, I agree, Should and that has not happened. No. One second. We have videos which we have placed, which will place before your lordship. And Manas, what happens is political parties get into the act, and this is what happens. Medical professionals have become vulnerable to violence. With the involvement of systemic issues for healthcare across the nation, this court has had to intervene. Women are at particular risk of sexual and non sexual violence in these sittings. Due to ingrained patriarchal attitudes and biases, relatives of patients are more likely to challenge women medical professionals. In addition to this, female medical professionals also face different forms of sexual violence at the workplace by colleagues, seniors, and persons in authority.